question number 3. It reads the solution for the differential equation d squared x by dt squared equals minus 9x with initial conditions x of 0 equals 1 and dx by dt at t equals 0 equals 1. So we have our four options given to us and we will have to find out the solution of the differential equation. So let's start by writing down the equation given. So the equation given is d square x by dt square equals minus 9x. Now in order to find the solution, the very first step is to write the auxiliary equation. Now the auxiliary equation, we can write dx by dt as m. So d square x by dt square is written as m square. So m square equals minus 9. Let's bring it on one side, the equation. We would write this as m square plus 9 is equal to 0. So what would the roots of m be? Now the roots of m would be plus or minus 3i. Now the next thing is to note the nature of the roots. Now what is the nature of the roots? Here we have i, which implies that it is complex. So the roots are complex. Now, the general solution when the roots are complex, we use trigonometric functions. Let me just write that down here. So here we see that the roots are complex. Now, when the roots are complex, the solution x is written as a cos 3t, because we have 3 here, plus b sin 3t. Now, we will have to find out what the values of a and b are. That's going to be our next step. So since our solution is in the form of a trigonometric uh, function, let's find the first derivative of x. So that would be dx by dt. So the first derivative, dx by dt, is written as 3 minus 3a sine 3t plus 3b cos 3t. Now since we are going to solve using a couple of equations, let's call the previous equation as 1 and the second, the one that we have just written, the first derivative as equation 2. Now the condition, the initial condition given to us in the question was x of 0 equals 1. That is one of the equations given, the conditions. So let's substitute this into the first equation. Okay, so what was the first equation? x equals a cos 3t plus b sine 3t. Let's substitute this here. We would have 1 is equal to a cos 3 of 0 plus b sine 3 of 0. Now this implies, what does this imply? Now here we will arrive at the value of a because here sine of 0 anyway becomes 0. So cos is left out. So cos of 0 is 1 which gives us the value of a. So a is equal to 1 here. The sine term becomes 0 we are left with only the value of a. So here we arrive at the value of a being 1. Now we use the next part. Uh, the next condition given, let me just take another pen right. So the next condition is dx by dt at t equals 0 is 1. So let's substitute this into the second equation. Okay, so we are going to substitute this into the second equation because we have the form dx by dt here. So when we substitute, what do we get? Let's see, we have 1 is equal to minus 3a sine 3 of 0 plus 3b cos 3 of 0. So in this case, 
Here the sine term becomes 0, we are left with a cos term. Now the cos of 0 is in way 1 and we are left with b. So what does this imply? This implies the value of b is 1 by 3, right? So we have 1 divided by 3. So now we have the values of a and the value of b. Let's substitute these values into the solution that we wrote in the beginning for x and that would give us the final answer. Let's see what we can do here. Now, the solution of x was written earlier as a cos 3t plus b sin 3t, right? This is the first equation that we wrote down. Now, substituting the values of a and b, what do we get? We get x equals cos 3t because a is 1 plus the value of b is 1 by 3 sine 3t. So, this is the final solution. So, let's check and see which option it matches. Um, it matches option C. Well, this is the final answer and I hope it has helped.